dear student today we are going to learn last point of this uh, chapter that is the ionic equilibria last point is the common ion effect first you know common ion and ion common to two electrolyte two substances is known as the common ion it means that the these are the two electrolyte that containing the one ion common that is the common ion but that common ion effect what effect the common ion first the definition of common ion effect common ion effect means what now common ion effect means the phenomena of the dissociation of weak electrolyte is suppressed by addition of strong electrolyte having one ion common is known as the common ion effect i will repeat that definition of common ion effect the common ion effect is the phenomenon in which the dissociation of weak electrolyte is suppressed by the addition of strong electrolyte which having the one ion common is known as the common ion effect now this is the one definition now for example or what is the common ion effect or common ion effect and the solubility what is the relationship between that the two now for example let us see the agcl that is a weak electrolyte that dissociate to formation of ag plus and the cl minus minus ions now agcl is a weak electrolyte which dissociate to formation of ag plus and the cl minus ions now this uh, agcl taken as suppose the one container which having the agcl now the when you add the agno3 that is a strong electrolyte agno3 we have to add this electrolyte this agcl that gives the ag plus and the cl minus therefore if you add the agno3 is the strong electrolyte which dissociate to formation of ag plus and the nitrate minus agno3 agcl then combines means in that reaction one ion should be the common means according to the definition of common ion effect the phenomenon in which the weak electrolyte or the the in which the dissociation of weak electrolyte is suppressed by adding the strong electrolyte small amount of that na agno3 we have to add it. the suppression of agcl then added the agno3 which should be having the one ion common is the common ion effect 
and when you add this uh, AgNO3, then the equilibrium is shifted toward this left. Equilibrium is shifted toward this left, and that equilibrium is maintained, and uh, that the solution is the precipitate one. The solution of AgCl is the precipitate one, and that equilibrium will be maintained in that solution. Now, this is about the common ion effect. Isn't it? This common ion effect is nothing but the this uh, phenomenon in which the dissociation of weak electrolyte which dissociate and the it suppression of suppression by adding by adding the strong electrolyte which having the the one ion common that is known as the common ion effect and the AgCl it hydrolyze or the uh, formation of Ag and the Cl minus ions that can be the Ag is the common ion and that is uh, if you adding the strong electrolyte then what happens the equilibrium is disturbed and when that equilibrium is attained or maintained then when this equilibrium is shifted toward this left or right to left then that time that the equilibrium is maintained and that is about the common ion effect okay this is the last point of this chapter. If any doubt of this whole chapter, then ask him. And next point, we have to solve the numericals on the solubility. Now, this is one numerical problem. What is that problem? Problem is that the solubility of barium sulfate in water is 1.07 into 10 days to minus moles per decimeter cube or moles per decimeter, decimeter cube then estimate its solubility product means we have to determine the solubility product you know uh, solution now here first you read the uh, numerical uh, carefully the solubility of BaSO4 barium sulfate with that the barium sulfate is a salt BaSO4 which dissociate to formation of B plus 2 ions and the SO4 double minus. This is the dissociation reaction. Then solubility of barium sulfate in water is 1.07 into 10 to minus moles per decimeter cube. Estimate the solubility product and you know there is one formula to calculate the solubility product. What is that formula? Formula is that the KSP is KSP is equal to now you know this uh, according to the KSP the molar concentration of Ba plus 2 into molar concentration of SO, SO4 double minus and you know the solubility of Ba is a yes into solubility of SO4 is a yes therefore because here the coefficient of 1 is also coefficient of 1 therefore according to that formula KSP is equal to the x raised to x x into y raised to y into s the x plus y Therefore, here, therefore, 1 dash to 1 into 1 dash to 1 into S, yes, 1 plus 1, and that is equal to the KSP, KSP is equal to, that is the formula, this S yes square. Solubility and the, the solubility product. Now, here, the value of the solubility, that is S, yes, S yes, that is given, means S, yes, Ksp equal to value of 1.07 into 10 dash to minus 5 and that is a square and that is your answer. Okay, the next numerical, next numerical, 
second numerical the solubility the solubility of lead sulfate lead sulfate in water in water is 1.254 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles of a moles per decimeter cube moles per decimeter cube at 298 kelvin 298 kelvin calculate calculate its solubility its solubility now this is the numer second numerical now see this First, you know the the solubility of lead sulfate in water is one point two four five in a five four into ten to the minus four moles per decimeter cube at two ninety eight kelvin. Then calculate its solubility. Solubility that is a product. Solubility product. That is a solubility product. Calculate its solubility product. Correct. So, liquid product. Now, see here. Now, first of all, write down the that reaction of electrolyte. Now, lead sulfate is the one well, weak electrolyte which dissociate to formation of the lead plus two and the sulfate minus two is in aqueous form. Now, if you calculate the solubility or the I am um, solubility product. Then KSP is equal to the molar concentration of the Pb two plus into molar concentration of the S S O four minus two. Now this is the formula, and you know this lead and the sulfate that is equal to the S into S, and KSP equal to KSP is equal to the S square, and that is the formula. To calculate the KSP or the solubility product, put the value. You know, its solubility is known. Its S equal to one point two four five four into ten raised to minus four, and we have to calculate the KSP using that formula. KSP is equal to S square. Put the value here. One point two five four into ten raised to minus four. That is a square, and that is your answer. Answer should be the one point five seven three. One point five seven three into ten to the minus eight, and that is your the solubility product. Now this is the second example. Then last example on pH. pH. Now you have to calculate the pH. Calculate the pH. Now here, the And the last problem, that is third one, that is the based on buffer solution. You have to calculate the pH. Now here, calculate the pH of buffer solution containing zero point five mole sodium chloride per liter and zero point zero one five mole hydrogen fluoride per liter. Value of that uh, dissolution constant of weak acid that is the seven point two into ten to the minus four for EHF. Now that numerical contains the one salt that is the sodium fluoride is the salt and this is the acid. Okay, 
with sodium chloride is the salt and hf is the product is the that hf is the acid now first of all the add on the first given terms what terms you have to uh, know is sodium uh, k that is a given 7.2 7.2 then the molar the concentration of salt that is also known 0.05 that is adf is the salt therefore put the value 0.05 and the acid hf is the acid therefore the value of hf is also known that is 0.015 mole and according to you decide the which formula you have to use whether the ph or the poh ph correct because that is a acid one when you uh, use the poh formula then that base is given now here in this numerical that contain the acid hf and the one salt they have put the uh, formula or uh, write the formula ph equal to pka plus log of molar concentration of the salt divided by the molar concentration of acid now in this case we have to determine the ph but you know first of all we have to determine the pka and you know pka is nothing but the negative logarithm to the base 10 of value of ka now k is no they put the value and calculate the pka this pka equal to negative logarithm into k put the value negative logarithm 7.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 that is the value of k and that is equal to 3.1427 is the first answer means of pka and once you know in the pka calculate the ph because the pka is known the molar concentration of salt is known and molar concentration of acid is known put the value and calculate the ph ph, pH value then ph equal to pka plus log of molar concentration of salt divided by molar concentration of acid now put the value here pka is known that is 3.1427 uh, plus log of the value of salt is the 0 0.05 okay now value of acid is also 0 0.015 uh, that is a value of acid put the value and you calculate the ph therefore ph equal to 3.1427 plus log of 3.33 therefore the 3.1427 into 0 0.33 in 3 is equal to total is the ph equal to 3.6651 and that is your the ph and that is your answer now same procedure for which formula this p oh equal to p k b plus log of this salt divided by the base same formula you have to use and you have to calculate the poh now this is about the last numerical on buffer solution now this is the end of the chapter this is a very very important chapter chapter to understand ecd okay is any doubt about any point of this chapter then ask me any time okay student is any difficulty no okay right now okay see you all